Hi again. Uh, good afternoon. Today is Friday, 13th of November, and uh, we're just, you know, taking things along really nice. We've done the potato uh, patch update, we've done the uh, green peas update, and now, if you guys remember, we started off with this tomato patch exactly three weeks ago. I remember telling you guys in the video that the cutoff date for getting the tomato plants out was the Labor Weekend, and uh, we did that before the Labor Weekend. It was a glorious sunny day like that as well it's too bright so uh, when we were putting these plants in I did uh, the roots I did put uh, coffee grounds now when you transfer a plant the shock it absorbs and then it starts to settle down and if you give the nitrogen at the same time to the plants they the growth is really immense it will not fruit with the nitrogen but uh, the color of the leaves and the growth would change now if you look at uh, this first style, this is the Italian Roma plants, right? So the color of the leaves, if you look in the bottom, it was light green when we had uh, transported these into this patch. And with the passage of time, now if you look at the color of the leaves, it's turning dark green, which is absolutely fabulous. If I could show you, they have started flowering as well. And once again, the pollination would work with the wind and with the bees and uh, the wind would shake the plants and they would uh, they'd be just fine. They're, they're doing absolutely brilliant. Now the second aisle is uh, the beefsteak tomatoes. Their plants were kind of weak because uh, they were indoors. They were not getting a lot of sun. Uh, but once we get them out, if you look at the last three plants, their color is absolutely dark green now. And they've started flowering as well. But the last these two aisles, this is money maker. If you look at uh, the length, that was this was pretty much like what seven inches when we had put it uh, in the patch, and it has doubled the size in just 21 days. And uh, it's uh, fruiting as well. The plants are fruiting. Moneymaker is is a famous uh, variety. If you want to get lots of production, lots and lots of production. If you want loads of tomatoes, I mean, there's so many other species. There are heirloom tomatoes and blah 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 but the best thing which is tried and tested is the money maker there's a reason that they call them the money maker and their, their production is immense so if you look I mean this has, is really maturing nice with time and hopefully see these are not plants these are these are wines the Italian Roma ones these are wines so that's why we have put a net on the side so once they would come to the height we'll start tying strings to make sure that the wines are going up nice and smoothly so this is like uh, the potato patch update uh, rather the tomato patch update that we have done also I told you in the last video that I've germinated some uh, Russian black cream so because the weather is so cracking it's a glorious day so we did the transportation of all the Russian black cream plants the last one that I took out which was really tiny in the size it's amazing you can see in the corner is a light green color but I've given it a bit of nitrogen so it's looking really well after the transplant but look at this look at this they are doing really good for uh, a plant that has been transplanted about four days ago these guys are doing really good really really good so sweet corn is coming out really nice we had a bit of struggle because of uh, the cold spell that we have in Christchurch but now you can see they're getting lots of sun and uh, they get some, they're getting loads of uh, nourishment from the sun. We're watering them two times a day. They're doing really good. So as for the tomatoes are concerned, uh, we're making really good headways. Now coming towards the cabbage. See this beautiful baby. We have trimmed it up. And I think this is probably going to be the first cabbage that is going to be, that's going to become part of our uh, coleslaw that we're going to make. Another one that we have is on the front patch along with the, the green pea wines and then we have got see this is the effect of uh, coffee grounds we we have tried keeping everything natural a bit of coffee ground this you wouldn't believe I bought the seedlings from a local uh, supermarket and these look at the size of these plants they were tiny seedlings this is just two weeks rather less than two weeks the nitrogen cake it really helps you know growth of the plants so this is pretty much about it for now I think we've got quite a few lot a lot of other things going in the garden 
but I don't want to cover them all in one video. It's a cracking day. And uh, once again, all of my friends in the UK, check this out. The sun was out yesterday in the UK and it's more than a glorious day in Christchurch today. Have a lovely day to you all. Goodbye.